Here's an overview of the stress linearization capability we've added in FEMAP version 2020.2. I'd encourage you to review the notes in the What's New presentation and also in our documentation. Uh, stress linearization is based on an ASME standard for pressure vessel uh, and basically requires you to pick the stress classification line, which is the line along which you're going to calculate a linearized uh, membrane stress and bending stress. Uh, so it, it's really critical that you understand the code check and what you're doing here. But I'll show you how we would implement it in FEMAP. So I've got a simple model here with three output sets. So there's three different loadings, three different result sets. Just go back to undeformed. And we'll go back to output set one. So I've got a group created so I can kind of look right down on the inside of this model. And let's go in here and take a look. The tool is located under the view, advanced post and stress linearization. And here you can pick, it's the same output sets again that you have in the model, but we're still on set one. If there's both linear and nonlinear stresses in the model, you can choose to use the linear results or the nonlinear stress data. That's where it actually pulls value to fill in the stress tensors. Uh, Element type, if you have multiple element types, you can choose which one you want to pull stresses off of. In this case, there's just solids. Uh, the stresses can either be von Mises or Tresca stress, and that's also explained in the documentation. But let's just show you how you use it. Basically, you pick two nodes, and the, the code does tell you kind of where you should be picking these to apply the failure criteria correctly, but we'll pick across the section here through the highest stress. And we'll say calculate, and you'll actually see the SCL get drawn, so you kind of know you're in the right place. But what's happened here is uh, the stresses have been transformed from wherever they're at, which in this case, this is a global stress since it's a solid, uh, to be aligned with the SCL. And then the membrane stress linearized is calculated as simply an average along the line. And then the bending stress removes some components of stress as per the spec. Uh, mainly the stress is in line, the axial stress is in line with the SCL and the shears involving the SCL, and then calculates a bending, linearized bending stress. But you see all these values right here. And also, so here's the actual stress along that SCL. So this is the real stress data coming from the finite element run. And then here's your membrane bending stresses that have been calculated. So you've got a membrane stress of 1200, 25, and then you got your membrane stress or your bending stress, sorry, and then your combined values. And the nice thing here is you can copy this chart and everything to the clipboard. And you can also copy the values that have been calculated to the clipboard as well in case you want to, or, or go straight to Excel now too. So we'll, let's close this out. Well, and quick thing to show is that you can just change output sets, recalculate, get different stress values there. Let's go to the torsion set calculate different values there you could turn on the full component actually turns on and uses all the values in the stress tensors stress tensors along the line to calculate the linearized bending so we could turn that on you can see the differences and the same thing with using tresca stress which is actually twice max shear it's a little more more conservative than von Mises, so you see the stress level be a little bit higher using that way of calculating. That was a solid model. Let's just switch over to a axisymmetric model. This is a part of a larger uh, pressure vessel, but exact same workflow, advanced post, stress linearization. It now sees that it only has axisymmetric elements, so you can do the same thing. You just pick your two locations and say calculate you'll see the same type information is calculated. And that's pulling the stresses off an axisymmetric model. Same workflow as plates as well.